us some insights into the competitive environment in Kenya. Apart from that, we've also seen some tragic incidents occurring in the country because of uh, uh, unregulated breweries which have come to the fore and offering cheaper products to consumers in that country. Tabitha, a very good afternoon to you. Uh, let's start off, as I said, with these tragic events that have been occurring in Kenya for some time now. Of course, about unregulated breweries that have been occurring purely because the lower income market unable to tap into the products that most breweries, the regulated breweries, are offering consumers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and what I can start with maybe is by just saying what is happening uh, in Kenya. Although just going by the internet, I've seen it's also most of it is also happening in Africa. But uh, it is because as the Rika industry keeps on growing, there is a problem with the cost, maybe brought about by the uh, budgets that are normally set on the Rika industry, that the common monainti or the common uh, uh, person cannot afford the whatever is now me done by the license or the the whatever liquor uh, industries or the mm. breweries. Well, Tabitha, we know that taxes are very high at this stage of the game for consumers. Those sin taxes is what we call them as well. And also the regulatory environments which breweries are operating in Kenya. Could you give us some insights into that? And do you think that it's warranted that we see such high sin taxes that, of course, um, only cater for the likes of the middle class uh, sector and really exclude the lower class sector? Yeah, the problem is, uh, as I say, it's uh, about the taxation because when a product is taxed high, it should always be done depending on the reality of the country. And the reality of a country is people may be earning, uh, uh, I mean, uh, depending on a dollar a day, meaning if there is uh, a product that is costing more than that one dollar a day, it means now it will only be uh, uh, afforded by the people in the upper class. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the lower class, they have no product or rather they have no alternative to go to. And maybe this is why you see now they are going to the illicit brutes, which maybe they are cheaper and they can afford. Mm -hmm. But if it's done well, I'm sure if the taxation is done well and they are given a product that they can afford, I'm sure they will never want to go to the illicit brutes. They will always want to go to the product that is there assured of, that is well hygienically uh, done and well uh, checked with the Kenya Bureau and the government chemists. Well, Tabitha, surely it's up to the breweries themselves to come up with a product that uh, would, of course, suit the lower income brackets as well. Surely it's up to uh, breweries such as yourself to create a more competitive environment. Yeah, but you see now we need, we, we need a good environment that the government will create so that as you come in with a product that can cater for the lower market, it is affordable. Mm -hmm. But the way the, the it is today, it is that the, it, the reality is that the lower product that is in the market mm -hmm. is unaffordable to the lower Tab income earners. Tabitha, what kind of margins are we looking at here for Kerache breweries? On the beer market? Yes. Okay. When we started the brewery, let me say uh, we started in a very low uh, percentage because we are talking of uh, the, lock, the liquor market uh, in Kenya. If it's 100%, what we started with is about 5%. So meaning we have a long way to go and to keep on growing so that at least we can be to 20%. But with what we've received from the market, Reaching 20%, it's very, very now uh, easy because the product that we produced, let's say they are of high quality than what has been there in the market. Maybe because of using the latest technology in the brewing industry, 21st century technology, meaning people have a choice now that they've not had there before. And you know also in Kenya, the competition, the liquor market, there has been a lot of monopoly, meaning as uh, you come in giving Kenyans a choice, they also wanted to taste the choice and finding it's better than what they've been having, they've really given us a good uh, support. And we can see now, the only thing now we have is to keep on growing mm. and to reach a certain market that we can satisfy the market and at least acquire a 20% of the local market.